everyone welcome or welcome back to three kids in a home i am tiffany and today i'm continuing with my patio makeover for the spring and summer here on my extended patio all right so if you missed the last video i posted i did my screened in porch where i did a makeover for the spring and summer on that so if you haven't seen that video make sure you go in and check this out so just to give you a little bit of background on this area two years ago we decided to get the patio extended during the summer we do like to have a lot of get-togethers for various reasons and so we wanted to have some extra seating space for guests when they come over so this is what it first looked like two years ago and it was a budget-friendly makeover most of the furniture did come from walmart but the metal did not work for our space at all this area gets so much sun and so when you sat down like the metal would just burn your skin up also these chairs did hold a lot of water and um it just wasn't going to work for us my husband has always told me that if i'm going to get something i might as well get what i want otherwise i'll just end up changing it again and so that's exactly what i'm going to be doing this time i'm going to make this space the way that i want and that i first envisioned it um and so what i'm going to do is just start by clearing everything off the patio and getting it cleaned and sprayed down If you are new to my channel, I just want to say welcome to you all. I am Tiffany, and on this channel, you will find all things home decor, cleaning, DIY, and organization. So if you like to see that sort of thing, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. I'd love to have you all here. And for those of you who are already subscribed, I just want to say thank you so much. You all know how much I appreciate your support from the bottom of my heart. I hope that everything is well with you all, and you continue to be blessed and highly favored. Now that I've gotten everything cleaned off, I'm just going to go ahead and spray down my patio area with some water. And y'all, it's so funny because it's been so hot, we haven't had any rain that you're gonna see that I'm going to spray this area down, but then as soon as I get ready to go and scrub it, all of the water basically just evaporates. And so I'm gonna have to spray it again um, to wet it down one more time. But uh, what I do is I do not yet have a, um, a, what's it called y'all I don't I don't forgot the name of it it is called a um y'all know what I'm talking about a pressure washer I don't have a pressure washer um yeah and so what I am doing is just going over it with a water bleach and dish detergent solution and then I just take a scrub brush and just scrub and lift up all of the dirt the area is still pretty new so I, it wouldn't be beneficial for me to go over it with a pressure washer anyway So moving on, while I'm waiting for my patio to dry, I'm going to go ahead and begin to put my dining set together. The set that I ordered is from Home Depot. It's the Hampton Bay Rockcliffe six-piece dining set. And I thought it was so cute. It even comes with a bench, and I love that it has wicker. Um, it's going to make the space really cozy. And so it does come with an app that you can download where it gives you step-by-step -step voice instructions. You can rewind, fast-forward, and hit pause to view it as many times as you need to. But it was really easy to put together. I 
I actually really enjoy putting things together. If something is extremely heavy, my husband will come out and help when I ask him. Um, but it's just, I normally put everything together just because I enjoy it so much. It's actually quite relaxing for me. Let me know if any of you all feel the same way, if it's relaxing for you to put something together or if you would rather just have someone else do it. Once I start something, I normally like to make sure I get it finished. So after I ate dinner, I came back out and I completed the chairs because I wanted to just get this out of the way. So this is the completed look with the table and the chairs and I absolutely love how this looks in our space. It comes with the two high back chairs, the two armless chairs and the bench and so I am just ready to enjoy this with my family. Moving on, I ordered this furniture set from Amazon. It comes as small as just a four piece set and all the way up to the 12 piece set. We did order the nine piece set which comes with as you see here pictured um, with the one table which you saw my video last week I used in my screened in porch so this did take me a few days to put together um, not because the pieces themselves were hard to put together it's just it was a nine piece set um, and so I spread that out over the a course of a few days because I worked on a lot of other various things in between So one of my in-between projects while putting together those chairs was I wanted to do some landscaping over here on the side of my patio. It is all grass and I wanted to create something that would provide some privacy for us in the future. So I decided to go with these emerald green arborvitae plants. Um, or trees I should say and the reason that I decided to go with these are because for one they do well in clay two um, they are able to take full sun and three they are essentially low maintenance which is just one of all of the things that I love and so what I'm going to do is just start by watering this area originally I thought that I was going to just dig all of this grass up because I really wanted it to just be a full-on mulch look across this area but then I decided that that was just going to be too much work um, and so instead what I decided to do was just go ahead and place cardboard over the grassy area so the first thing that I'm going to do is just go ahead and dig up the holes and plant these trees as needed and then I will go back and place cardboard over the area that I want to cover up with mulch so these trees will grow at maturity. They'll reach about 10 to 15 feet high. Um, and for their spread, they'll be about three to four feet wide. So this would provide the perfect amount of privacy. But they're also narrow trees, which is really good because I didn't want anything big and towering. And so I did place these about three to four feet apart from each other. And they're actually further away from my patio than what they look. In the video, they look closer, but they're not really that close to the patio. Um, and so this will create a nice little privacy privacy hedge for us in the future.
In the hole, I'm adding some clay breaker to help loosen up that clay. And then I'm also going to be adding in some tree and shrub soil also. So this is what the trees look like planted in the ground and you could stop here and just add some motion it would be a good look but for the vision that I had for this area I want to go ahead and mulch out the entire strip going around and so I've laid this hose here just to be my guideline of where I want every how far I want this border to come out and so I'm basically just using all of the cardboard that I had from my furniture sets what the furniture sets were delivered in and what I'm going to do is just go ahead and lay them out and basically just make a puzzle I'm going to overlap some some of the pieces um, and then to, in order to make it heavy and prevent it from blowing everywhere I'm also going to be spraying them down with water cardboard is a really good and quick option if you don't feel like digging up a flower bed it also provides good nutrients for the soil as well Now I'm just going to go ahead and lay the mulch down directly over the cardboard. I actually prefer to use the Scott's mulch, but last year my husband accidentally brought the wrong mulch and never took it back. And so what, I don't want to waste it, so I'm just going to go ahead and lay this down as the first layer. And then I'll just be putting my Scott's mulch over it. I only had about two bags of this, so it wasn't too much. I did share the completed look with the mulch over on my Instagram page. I do normally share sneak peeks of things that I'm working on. So if you don't follow me already over there, make sure you go check me out at Three Kids in a Home over on Instagram. So once I finished my planting my trees, I did finally get all of my furniture pieces put together. So now I'm just placing these cushions on them. The chairs themselves have Velcro straps attached to them as well as the back of the cushion so they help to hold the cushions in place. For the cushion backs, they do come in these vacuum sealed packages so you do have to fluff it out when you first take them out. But what I think is really neat is they also come with ties so that you can tie them around the back of the chair and it helps to secure them in place. So one of the things that drew me to this furniture set was that it can be made into different configurations to fit whatever your space needs. This is one way that it can be set up here, one of several ways. This in fact is a little too bulky for my space, but I did just wanna give you an idea of what that would look like. Another thing that you can do with this furniture, it does come with clips that you can clip on to the bottom of the pieces to hold the furniture pieces together. And so I thought that was really helpful in case a strong wind blows up it will keep the furniture from moving so much all right you all so I still have several other projects that I need to complete 
with my back patio makeover and so you won't be seeing the completed look today but make sure that you all are subscribed and come back next week so that we can pick up right where we left off and we can get these projects done and get everything decorated but as always thank you all so much for watching with me i hope that you all have a blessed week and i will see you next time